820 is the delivery alliance for uh, Thames Water's capital programme for AMP 6. That's to say it's going to be putting in the ground all the pipes and the sewage treatment works and the water works uh, over the next five years. The alliance is made up of a number of organisations. Uh, Skanska, MWH and Balfour Beatty form one joint venture. Uh, Costain and Atkins form another joint venture. And those are combinations of constructors and designers. And we've also got MWH as our program managers and IBM, interestingly, as our innovation partners. Uh, not forgetting, of course, Thames Water, who are both client and part of that alliance. And the alliance is made up of, of of all those different companies uh, and so each has its own uh, view on the world, its own traditions and its, and its ways of working. Uh, so that the challenge is to bring everyone together and to work in a, in a common way uh, but, but at the same time bring what they can, the best of what they've got uh, to, to contribute to that and to help inform and educate the others so that we all become better as a whole as a result of being part of that alliance. We've very much taken a collaborative approach to developing standard products within the alliance. Um, my team has been established to do, to do exactly that, to identify where there are opportunities for standard products and then to, uh, to develop those and make them accessible and available to those that need to, to use them. So if they're not used, they're not really going to be, deliver any benefit. The way we've gone about it is, first of all, to identify uh, what products might be useful in the programme. So looking at, particularly at the, the first year uh, of the programme, because they'd be the first ones that are going to have to come on, on track, uh, and talking with the, uh, some of the design strategy people, because at this stage, remember, early days within the programme, we don't have a lot of detailed design available to us. So we've had to collaborate with the, um, the, the, the programme planners, uh, we've had to collaborate with the design strategy leads who uh, understand the kind of thing that's going to need to be built to satisfy our particular needs and the solutions that are going to need to come from that. And so from that we've, we've come up with a prioritised list, a sort of a, a, an 80-20, uh, what are the most important, what are the least important. And then we've started to look at those particular products and see how amenable they are to standardisation or indeed whether there's already something out there in the market. Assuming that there isn't something already that we can, that we can work on, we then pull together all the stakeholders that are needed to develop that product. And that may not sound very radical, but in, in the construction industry, the, the usual way of approaching this would be designers would design, and then they would pass it over to the constructor who would have procurement within that, and they would procure the thing that the designers have designed, and then they would construct it. Um, what we've done is develop something we call a simultaneous design team. So in a room, we have had the supplier, we've had uh, the, uh, the engineering resources of 820, uh, be that uh, design, construction or commissioning, mechanical, electrical, civil. Uh, we've also had operations for their knowledge of how the product might be operated and we've also had uh, Thames Waters Asset Standards representatives to understand where we are maybe pushing against existing standards that might have to be, go through a formal process of challenge if we're to, to proceed with it. With it. Bringing that supplier in right at the beginning is quite a challenge because normally we would be giving a supplier an order, uh, whereas we're not. We're saying, come and talk to us, come and work with us and help us to develop the product. We've known from our supply base in the last few years that they're very keen to do this and that, that, that they feel that might have been excluded from this, the way procurement processes have worked in the past. So this is a big change that, uh, that uh, 820 are undertaking within AMP6, this early engagement with suppliers.